lives in Orlando, Florida. And it's, just, let me just tell you, we just left the, the session of the conference and Woo! was it amazing or what, guys? Oh, it was amazing. Phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Have yeah. you ever had anything like that happen? Have you ever experienced something so intense like that? No, no. no. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. It was Absolutely. awesome, right? It was awesome. Hey, can you guys, can you, each of you, almost knocked my eye out. <laughs> Each of you just describe the conference and your overall experience with the evangelism and the supernatural that's happening, all the prophetic that's being released and all the anointing that's being released in our lives. Can you just, you know, describe it in one word, what you're feeling right now? Breathtaking. Breathtaking. What about you, Jeff? Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Lee? I'm holding a crumb that's going to become a Oh, yes. oh yes. yes! Oh, yes! She got it. She got it, guys. She got it. She got the flame going on and everything. Before we close up, let me just tell you. Awesome. Oh, your beard is awesome, and you're just awesome. You guys are thank such you. cool people. Like, you can just see the happiness and the joy around you guys. It's awesome. It's completely awesome. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more, guys. All right, so this is Junior with uh, Glory Field TV. We're right here in Awakening 2011. And Jesus Culture emerged, uh, and we are talking over here with David. David's part of the crew. So, David, talk to us a little bit. What is about Jesus Culture emerged? Jesus Culture emerged. Jesus Culture emerged, and Campus Awakening are two crazy, crazy resources. You get equipped with Banning, Bill Johnson, Chris Valentin. Um, Sean Smith, all the crazy revivalists, you get equipped to release revival in your high school, release revival in your college. That's the guts of it. If you want to, if you want to move in signs and wonders, miracle power in your schools, you need this kit. It's a step-by-step, -step, gentle launching you and your mates, you and your friends. Sorry, that's a bit Australian. Into a supernatural life. The Emerge curriculum. I can't show you that. It's online. It's somewhere up there. <laughs> it is. It's a one-year discipleship course, which is ridiculous. We've we've interviewed some of the the craziest testimonies from around the world of young people who've had supernatural encounters with God. We we put together some of the best video clips. There's music clips on there. There's teaching that starts at the book of Genesis and goes right through and it shows you the supernatural life and how to live it for a whole year. So that's a, an awesome tool as well. So. Thank you. Thanks for See, Dave, you got my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dave, I'm going to ask you just one more thing. Yo. You have an opportunity to give a word to somebody that is watching you right now. Yeah, on yeah. Our blog. yeah. Can you give us a one minute, 30 seconds? Can you preach for an hour? It's okay. As long as the battery allows. <laughs> Just give a word for somebody. Maybe they need a word of encouragement. You have that word. Would you okay. come across? Let me. I don't want to make light of this. Just let me get something for you from the Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see. There's someone there. Um, I saw a picture of DNA. There's someone who's got a DNA disease or a DNA. There's been something that you've been born with, whether it's an illness or whether it's something. And I just declare that Jesus is about to touch your DNA and he's about to heal your DNA. I see your DNA structure getting adjusted and Jesus is making you brand new. So, amen. We release that miracle. Yeah. May thank you guys for seeing us. This is the miracle. This is the power of God. So you be touched. This is Junior for Glory Future TV. See you next guys. See you guys next time. Open up your heart and let me in. Alright, hey guys, this is Mariana. I'm here with Ben. She is here working throughout the conference. How do you feel working at the conference and not being there? Are you are you in there at all? Actually, we get to go in there, yeah. Oh you were? Yeah. Oh okay, I was wondering, I was like, oh she's not receiving. How do you how do you describe this whole experience? I mean I've seen, I'm sure you've seen it before, but how do you you know describe this one? Yeah, I think Man, bringing so many um, different age groups, different generations together in one place and just spreading that revival spirit and kind of the excitement about doing the stuff of the kingdom is really exciting. That is awesome. That is awesome. God is doing great things at this conference. Uh, we're
were just really excited. Um, you know, how, did, how I was at, I was wondering how did you actually come to work at this booth? How did how did it? You know, how, where, where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland. Okay, and how did you how did you you know how, how did this happen? Um, we actually, two years ago, our church became an official Bethel church associated with Reading, California. And so um, we heard Jesus Culture was coming to Chicago, we wanted to come, and then we asked them, hey, can we do, we're starting our Bethel School Supernatural Ministry Cleveland edition this fall, so we asked them if we could come and have a table, and they said, yeah, absolutely. Wow, that is awesome, and how are, how are your results so far? Are you getting a lot of, you know, supernatural things? And uh, I mean, we've gotten much better results than we thought. We're just starting out, so we're planning on like 30 students, which we already have 30 students ready. And uh, we're expecting maybe to bring in a few people who might be interested. We've had like several hundred people sign up that they want to know more about Bethel. It's amazing. God just surprises us out of nowhere. It goes beyond our expectations. Well, thank you very much, Beth. I appreciate your time. Um, thank you so much, guys. This is Mariana for Glory Fuel TV, and I'll see you guys next time. tell you guys and you guys just need to be ready because you do not know what you're getting yourselves into so this is our amazing amazing driver her name is Victoria <laughs> she's been really nice to us all these days she's been letting us overpack the van and just sit over here where I'm sitting so okay. all right guys I'll see you guys next time oh, she's got her shades on now. <laughs> 